hello what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel now today i want to show you this uh, application It's called uh, beam master uh, this application uh, you can use it to design um, concrete uh, beams and it is uh, i find i find this application very important because you can uh, you can do your design uh, using your phone and the good thing is uh, it can do analysis it can do design and it can also do detailing and all in your phone so this is uh, the name is beam master and this is my phone i'm using uh, my phone is samsung so i'm not sure if it's available on the os but i really think um it is available but i'm not sure so what you want to do is you can uh, come here first and then you can change your units for, let's say i'll go to metric and then the, the only thing is that uh, the code is only american code so you cannot change this i'm not sure if you pay for this maybe if you upgrade to premium you'll be you'll have access to another codes but uh the free one uh, you all you you only have access to american code but that's okay and then uh you can change uh, the factors because uh for on my side i'm using i like to use british codes so um uh, by default i think that dead load factor is 1.2 something like that so you need to change this and then after that you are good now let's let's try to design a beam and then you'll see how this thing is very important so i'll go for i'll, I'll try to do two spans and then i'll put the length here say one is four the next one let's say is six and then okay and then let's go for the section and then uh, let, we will choose t section and for b let's choose 600 and then uh sorry uh because look we always need to look on the on the these uh units so it's 60 for 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 600 and then the height should be 50 centimeter and then a bw should be 25 and our flange will go with 15 uh, centimeter okay now that we have a section we uh, we can go to width support and uh, the, the important thing about width, width support is that the application wants to calculate the effective length that's why you need to put this so let's go let's our call let's say our column is uh, 30 by 30 centimeters so i'll play okay and then uh, the support type let's use a pin on every end and then um okay we can go to loads now and we have a service load and factor load don't worry about this it will uh, do all it will give you all the the data for all of them all of them so um my as you can see the span of our beam here is 10 meter so i'll go to uniform and then i will let's say i'll say dead um let's say dead is uh, 16 and starting from 0 to 10 and the live load let's say live load is uh 20 and starting from zero again to 10 and then apply so as you can see we uh we have applied our loads so what we can do now is go for analysis okay so uh if you want to reactions we, if you want to see our reactions we can come here and these are the reaction which are affected the ones and serviced ones uh, the one which which are not you uh, affected and um also we can go to envel uh to 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 our um, uh our moment diagrams and shear diagrams and um if you want you can uh, look them on here for envelope also uh if you uh, if you look on the top here you'll see the moments on the on the important on the important parts on the mid spans and on the and on the top of the support okay so after this you right right now we already have all the data that we need we can go to start to design okay so as you can see right here it shows the deflection it also shows the reinforcement areas that are required now on the design parameter you can change your cover you can change the bar diameter you can change the fy you can change the concrete mpa another thing is um you can change the area of reinforcement should you choose other position let's say if i want to change the number of bars on uh on on an area that's this give you uh the the uh this give you the what you want i mean if you want to do something it doesn't uh, force you as it uh it, the result that it gives you okay so it's, it's give you the fluidity of your design but after if you are happy with the design 
uh, if you're happy with the design, what you need to do, you can uh, go to start detailing and the software will detail for you. Okay. And after that, after that, if you want, you can check the bars and everything, and then you can export to DXF so that you can use it uh, in AutoCAD. Otherwise, um, you can do, uh, you can export it as a PDF and all the results. That's what I'm, I'll try to do. Uh, okay, but the way you need to pay for this. I didn't try to see this. I only get to this part where I see that enforcement and then I can give the answers in sight. Uh, this software is very good uh, if you're using it on a site because um, you uh, you can give uh, quick results. Sometime when you're a structural engineer, people will ask you questions. They think that your head is a computer that you can get all the answers without even doing anything. So at least with this, you can answer some of those questions. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.